Have you ever found yourself chasing after a narcissist who continues to block and unblock you? It's kind of this push and pull. Maybe you sometimes wonder, like, does he actually want me to chase him? Like, does he actually love it when I, like, run after this person? Like, what's actually going on? Are you tired of playing the block and block game with maybe yourself? Maybe you're blocking. Maybe you're unblocking and going back and forth. Want to know the truth about narcissist intentions of what's actually going on? If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this platform to provide awareness, growth, healing, change, and development. I'm the founder of Raw Motivations, the creator of the NARC app, and your guide in the 45-day Clarity Challenge. You can access at claritychallenge.net. I try to work with people each day to rewire the story that they're telling themselves, the concepts that are keeping them stuck in a trauma bond with a toxic person, and they don't know is there a way to actually get out. Well, when we're dealing with the narcissist and dealing with the aspect of this push and pull, we see this happen all the times in the relationship. And in this video, I want to be able to explore just some of the topic about whether the narcissist loves to be chased or like the block on block game that they play and talk about three things that the narcissist need in this type of dynamic. When we're talking about like what is happening with this, you'll see a narcissist that will block you and then will unblock you. That will say that you're broken up and then say you're back together. And this push pull will happen over and over and over. Why? What's actually going on? The first point I want to be able to make is that a narcissist needs to be in control. There is like a need, a craving to be in control of the situation. Now, it's not always just the situation and it's not always just the person. Oftentimes, it, that's a result of the narcissist wanting to be in control of the mask, of the version of the reality that they're projecting to the entire world. You end up being the one that ends up being uh, manipulated and controlled because they want to make sure that you don't let other people let them know about the mask that you've actually started to see. The cracks in the mask that make you seem like, wait a second, this person isn't who they actually say. Narcissists oftentimes crave control in every aspect. The mask is one of the biggest aspects there. In their relationships, they want to be able to control you. Like what you say, what you do, how you respond, how you act, because they want to make sure that you're not bothering them too much or being an inconvenience of doing the things that they want to do. This aspect of using the block and unblock game is a tool of manipulation to make sure they assert your do their dominance over you, of making sure that they're in control over you. They block and you're like, I don't understand what actually happened, what's going on, and then they unblock and then you're like, oh good, like they love me, they care about me, then they block again. And by playing this game, they're essentially telling you that they have control over you and they have control over the situation. They can bring you forth and they can push you back anytime they want. So let's consider this idea. Like imagine you've been dating nurses for a couple months and things seem to be going pretty well. It seems like establishing a good relationship, starting to become really close. And all of a sudden, one day out of the blue, they just block you on all social media platforms and block you. And you're like, I don't understand. You start freaking out. You start calling them. You start trying to text them a bunch. You're blowing them up, trying to figure out like what is going on. And you're left confused, hurt, and wondering what you did wrong. In this moment, when you're wondering what did you do wrong, they have a power over you. Because whether you did something wrong, typically not, but whether you did something wrong or not, there's still this weight on you of, I don't know what I did. A few days later, they might go ahead and unblock you. And when they do, they'll act like nothing actually happened. When you bring it up, they kind of discount it. My phone died. I was out of town. Whatever. And they'll make it seem like nothing actually happened at all. And it becomes this power dynamic, this power play back and forth. And they'll do this repeatedly over and over and over. And it puts you through this emotional roller coaster. And if you've ever heard the term of like a reverse discard, like where the narcissist pushes you away, there's also the term reverse Hoover. And that's the idea where the narcissist waits for you to come back. In this aspect, it happens oftentimes after they've trained you with this push pull, block, push you away unblock, bring you back. And over a period of time, you get used to that. It becomes ingrained. And so when they leave, when they actually leave, then you chase after them. This happens oftentimes where you, as the victim of narcissistic abuse, feel like you're the crazy one. You feel like you're the abuser because you're the one stalking. You're the one obsessing. You're the one chasing. You're the one getting thrown in jail because you're like going after this person. And this happens so many times, but oftentimes it's already based on the previous part of the relationship it being this giant push-pull, like back and forth, keeping you on the edge of not knowing where you actually stand or what's wrong. So in this aspect, narcissists need control. Like that's a huge part of it. Narcissists need control. The second one is narcissists need attention. Like they need to know that they matter. They need to know that the attention is back on them. They need to get validation from you. 
And they may be like, why would they even need the validation? It doesn't seem like they need it. It seems like they're confident. They're sure of who they are. They're just moving through life. Well, there's still this piece of insecurity. There's still this piece of shame and guilt that they're trying to be able to hide and to be able to hide that by putting up a mask. And as a result, they're looking for attention and validation. For me, when I went to other people, when I went to different affairs, part of the reason was I was looking for that attention. I was looking for that validation. I was looking for someone who thought I was the best thing on the planet, someone who would worship me, someone who would honor me, someone who would look good for me. Like it was all coming back. And so narcissists use this need for attention by using the block and unblock game, like back and forth. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you chasing. It keeps telling the narcissist, you still want me. You can have this with positive supply, negative supply. People get confused about this. You can tell the narcissist, I hate you. You can tell the narcissist, I love you. The narcissist can still hear the same thing. They're still infatuated with me. I'm still the best. They'll switch it around. When the narcissist blocks you, a lot of times it'll create this sense of loss and like abandonment. It's going to trigger your need to be able to reach out and seek reassurance of like, wait a second, what did I do wrong? This especially gets confusing when you did nothing wrong at all, when there was no like reason for it at all. And you're like, but wait. And it starts to switch something in your mind where you want to prove something. You want to justify it. You want to be able to say like, no, this is who I am. And you start realizing over a period of time, you've been trying to prove your worth, prove your value, prove your truth to someone who doesn't care. To someone where they're only focused on just getting what they want and keeping you sedated, keeping you pushed down, keeping you isolated from friends, from family, from people that would actually tell you the truth. And this happens when a narcissist needs attention, so they block you, push you back and forth, and it triggers you. It triggers you to reach out, triggers you to find this reassurance, and by unblocking you, the narcissist is able to draw you back in and get the attention that they want. And so this idea of like, let me block you, then you're like, I don't know what's going on, let me reach out. You reach out, they unblock, you come back in, and they're like, see, you still wanted me. It's amazing how the mind can switch it around. Like most people don't understand it and I try to break it down as best I can. But in a narcissist's head, like we can switch it around really easy to still come back to us. Like just think, think of it this way. Whenever, whenever a narcissist hurts you and they switch it around on you, like narcissists are, the, are the, the best people to be able to punch you in the face and then be like, I'm sorry that you hurt. Like I'm sorry that your face hurts. But not take accountability of like, oh yeah, I caused that. But instead, like, you know, it's actually your fault. Like, if, if you hadn't been talking bad, then your face wouldn't be hurting because I punched you, which was because of you triggering. Like, there's this whole list of things, so it makes it me not my fault, that kind of an idea. All right, so think of it like if you're in a relationship with someone and they're playing this game, this push and pull, the block and unblock game. And like they'll go and they'll block you on social media, then they'll unblock you a few days later, and then they'll block you on the phone, and then they'll block you, unblock you a few days later, or like just all of a sudden they ghost you and they stop answering your calls and text for no apparent reason. Like there's nothing leading up to it, it's just all of a sudden gone. And you find yourself constantly chasing after them. Like you're constantly doing this. This creates this dynamic that nurse is like, see, I got these groupies, I got these people following after me. Like trying to figure out what you did wrong and to seek validation and attention. I want you to notice like there's like a pattern here with a lot of this of how narcissists is all coming back to themselves and how for you, you have to work on how are you actually showing up in the relationship. If you're looking for someone, whether it's a narcissist, whether it's not, if you're looking for someone to validate and give you that attention that's going to make you feel better, that's not going to help you actually grow. That's not going to help you change. Okay, it doesn't mean you're a narcissist at all, but oftentimes when someone has been with a narcissist, you're looking for the other person to validate your worth. You're looking to the other person to tell you if you're good enough. Sometimes this is because you've already been brought up in a narcissist house, narcissistic household, or sometimes you've been with a narcissist and that's how they've trained you to feel and to think. Well, narcissists have this need for control. They have this need for attention. Oftentimes you'll see this have this need for drama. Drama, drama, drama. So we talk a lot of times about like chaos, like narcissists love chaos. A lot of times I say that because narcissists are the chaos. They create the chaos. They construct the chaos. They're in control of the chaos. So the chaos really isn't that bad for them because they're the ones in control. Narcissists sometimes will thrive on this drama and this chaos in relationships. Like for me, it was like, this is cool to be able to move these pieces around and get these people to interact or react the way that I want them to. The block and unblock game of going back and forth is just another way to be able to create drama and keep you emotionally off balance, not sure where you stand in the relationship. And by playing this game, a lot of times narcissists will keep you guessing 
And wondering what you did wrong creates this atmosphere of uncertainty, anxiety, and ultimately like leads you back to them. Okay, again, a lot of this, the control, the attention, the drama, all goes to a place where it trains you to keep coming back. It trains you to keep coming back to a toxic person, thinking maybe this will be better. Maybe it'll happen this way. And it gives you hope, potential, cognitive distance, intermittent reinforcement, all those things that build a trauma bond that keeps you locked into place so you can't actually get free. This produces a high level of stress, high level anxiety, makes you feel like you're crazy because you're like, I don't actually know what's happening in the relationship. The block and unblock game is a common manipulation tactic used by narcissists to control you and manipulate you. You'll spend so much time trying to justify that you didn't do anything wrong, you won't actually hold them accountable for just ghosting you for no reason. Like that's the manipulation piece. It'll take you so much time validating and excusing and talking through everything that's happened. Then it will actually deal with the topic at hand. Narcissists are great at distracting you about the one thing that they're trying to do or the one thing they're trying to avoid every single time. If you're at this place and you're like, I don't actually know, it's important to get to the place you recognize what it actually is, what narcissistic abuse is, what role you play in it, what role he plays in it, reactive abuse, the guilt and the shame that you feel for staying so long or for being manipulated. I want you to go to escapetoxicity.com. We've got a seven day challenge on there for $7 to gain clarity and start getting some of the tools and the groundwork to be able to navigate through a toxic relationship. If you prefer more of a personalized approach and consider working with me one-on-one, you can go into an accelerated environment in our Thriver community and you can talk to me one-on-one. You can go to rawmotivations.com, click on the one-on-ones there. We'd love to be able to partner with you to help you heal, grow, change, and develop.